let's learn about the distributive property. Say I want to figure out the product of 4 times 63. I can break down 63 into its parts 60 plus 3. What the distributive property tells us is if we were looking at this right here, 4 times 60 plus 3, we distribute the 4 times not only to the 60, but also to the 3. And then so I'll go ahead and rewrite that by distributing that 4 times. Distribute it to the 60 and distribute it to the 3. You will also notice that I kept the addition sign in between those. Now, if I evaluated that, 4 times 60 is 240. 4 times 3 is 12. And so 240 plus 12 is 252. I'll show you that this is the same product if we had multiplied it without distributing. 63 times 4 being 252. Let's take a look at another example. Let's take a look at 7 times 57. I'm going to go ahead and keep the 7 times, and I will break the 57 into its 10s and 1s. 57 can be broken down into 50 plus 7. The distributive property tells us that we can go ahead and distribute this 7 times, not only to the 50, but also to the 7. So, it breaks down into 7 times 50 plus 7 times 7. In this example, I'm just going to write the 7 times 57 right here. And again, what we did is we broke down the 57 into 50 plus 7. If we were to write 3 times 20 plus 9, if we evaluated this, we would say 20 plus 9 is 29, and this is just 3 times 29. 29 times 3, 7, 2, 3 times 2 is 6, plus 2 is 8, would evaluate to 87. Now, if we had distributed the 3 and used that distributive property, we would have had 3 times 20 plus 3 times 9. And if we evaluate this expression, this is what we get. 3 times 9 is 27, added together with 3 times 20, which is 60. And 60 plus 27 is 87. Again, this here is the distributive property. 3 times 20 plus 3 times 9 does equal this right here. That's what this is right here. It's time for you to try. Go ahead and rewrite this expression, showing that you understand that distributive property. I'm going to go ahead and draw a couple of arrows for you. Rewrite that expression. Remember to put the addition sign in there as well. Hit pause. OK, the expression 5 times 10 plus 5 times 7. I'm going to go ahead and evaluate that. That's 50 plus 35, which does evaluate to 85. Now, if I had just evaluated the 5 times 10 plus 7, 10 plus 7 is 17. So this does equal 5 times 17. And 17 times 5 will also equal 85 as you see here, just shown the distributive property. The distributive property works with this type of problem as well, where we're distributing the 2 times not only to the 15, but also to the 6. Maybe you understood and you know your 2 times 15 fact so much and so well that you're going, oh, 15 doubled, that's 30. And then distributing the 2 to the 6, that's 2 times 6, which is 12. And what would we do to those two numbers? We would add them. 
so 30 plus 12 is 42. So what I'm trying to say here is that we did not have to break down this number into 20 plus 1. We could have rewritten as the sum, as long as that sum adds together to that number there, 21. Here we have 8 times 12 plus 7, and then so we're going to distribute the 8 times not only to the 12 but also to the 7. And showing that distributive property then, we're going to go ahead and write this as 8 times 12 plus 8 times what? Right, 7. And then so that's showing the distributive property. These two are equal to each other. Now if I evaluate it just to show you that work again, we have 96 plus 56. 96 plus 56 is 152. Now, if I had taken this here, and 12 plus 7 is 19. This is actually just 8 times 19. And so, 8 times 19, I'll write it as 19 times 8, and 19 times 8, 2, 7. 8 times 1 is 8, plus 7 is 15, is also equal to 152. All right, I want you to try. I want you to go ahead and copy this down. Um, after you copy it down, I want you to go ahead and fill in that blank. Think of this. We've broken down 43. 32 plus what is 43? After you finish figuring out that number, I want you to go ahead and evaluate the right-hand side here, and then I will evaluate it this left-hand side for you to go ahead and put a number right there that it should equal. It should be equaling to 387. Go ahead and hit pause while you work on this problem. Okay, 43, if we broke this down, it was 32. 32 and what is 43? You should have written 11 here. That way, 9 times 11 is 99. And 9 times 32, I'll have to rewrite that. 8. 1, 9 times 3 is 27, plus 1 is 28, so we have 288 plus 99 on the right-hand side here. And then that sum is 387. So 387 does equal 387. What we've shown here is the distributive property. Okay, the distributive property list review. All we're saying is this 8 times must be distributed not only to the 15, but also to the 2. And so what that means is we'd go 8 times 15, and then we would also go 8 times what? 2, and then we would make sure to add them. That's showing you that example. Now this is really just 8 times what if we evaluated what was in that parentheses? 8 times 17. So all three of these are equal, where we are using that distributive property to help us figure out that product.